on new heights <laughs> and new adventures the holy ghost wanted me to see and remind me like you said it's a reminder that as you constantly believe you know what i mean my love for you and in the proper way which is through my son he died for you that you shall not perish you won't fail tia all right y'all so we're coming out of john 3 16 the scripture john 3 16 and i want you all we're all going to take turns in the same order um uh sharing our views from two perspectives from what what we normally know about this scripture or how this scripture is normally um talked about like like the way that it's talked about or what what is known for and then also how it could apply to our our right now like how can we apply this to our right now mm -hmm. so i'm gonna read the scripture and i want you to uh share both of those point of views from what the scripture is known for um or what you think is known for or what it what it sound like it means and also how it could apply to our right now how can we put the scripture into our right now to help us with today because the holy spirit gave me this the scripture today and um i'm like i you know it's a popular scripture for a, a believer that's um you know been a believer you know we know this scripture but you know for me i'm not smarter than the holy spirit so i went to it to see what it is that i can learn like what what, what are you trying to get me to see god because if it came up in my spirit then it's obviously it applies to me in some form right now mm -hmm. so um you know god is good you know when i read it, i was like oh okay god you you, you know you you own you own something all right so it's um john three sixteen. Um, and this is all oh, it's in another translation uh, translation so that's why it's in the NLT version because I'm not used to this version but it, I like it we're gonna stick with it we're gonna roll with it um, we can look at it in another translation as well um, all right so John 3 16 for this is how God loved the world past tense ED loved he gave his one and only son uh, so that everyone who believes in him will not perish, but have ever la or uh, have eternal life. Let me look at it in another translation. Um, let's do the Amplified. Uh, let me see. All right. It says, for God so greatly loved and dearly um, prized maybe, the world that he even gave his one and only begotten son so that whoever believes oh yeah i'd emphasize that with an es believes continuously and trusts trusts with s in him as savior shall not pros, uh, perish but have internal life um i don't like that they be it's i feel like the it's amplified true. version is dramatic <laughs> It's dramatic. Let me see. Let me find another translation. Um, let's do New King James. I don't see it though. Uh, I see King James. Uh, let's try. Let me see. Mm, oh, I see it. New King James. New King James version. All right. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes he is continuously in him shall not perish but have everlasting life let's go back to the niv i really like that version or the what was it the nlt NLT. i think it was the nlt mm -hmm. yeah we're gonna mm -hmm. leave it there my bad all right for this is how god loved the world he gave his one and only son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have everlasting why do i keep saying that but have internal life it's, it's the same it's the thing same, yeah. but i like internal like i feel like that's that's more uh kingdom talk like it's mm -hmm. god it's more of like god talk mm -hmm. like everlasting life that that's like a worldly a worldly watered down 
like term or a you know saying mm -hmm. but I feel like internal life that's on another level that's that's from the kingdom uh, directly mm -hmm. you know what I mean so um but um but have internal life so that that I think that I don't think I know that's that uh stood out to me when the Holy Ghost gave it to me and I read it um that stood out to me uh I want y'all to give y'all opinions first. Y'all need me to say the, ask the question again? Not not a uh, opinion, but y'all views. Y'all need me to ask the question again, or you got it? Yeah, you can ask the question. Okay, so the question is, um, uh, so what what is the scripture known for? Like, what what is the normal, um, like talk about the scripture, our perspective, and then how can we apply this this scripture? into our today like how does this fit like how could we how could this help us on today or what we're going through our current our now so there's two questions go jay so the the normal uh version of the scripture like when people one. just when they read it they like it's it's saying like if you believe in him then if you just believe in him all the way to the end then you will have internal life and you will um, not die and you will go to heaven yeah yeah exactly okay what about today like how how does this apply to our now and it could apply to our now it's it's a it's like a reminder it's telling us to keep going and don't stop mm -hmm. serving god and don't stop doing what you're supposed to do in god and serving your purpose all the way um all and keep doing it all the way to the end so, so it's basically the same thing life. you feel yeah. like it's like the same yeah yeah it's a reminder. Like yeah okay Jen. so the normal way of talking about this scripture is people um when they read this scripture they they think like oh um if we believe in god until he come back then we'll go to heaven like um we'll we'll like go to heaven all we really have to do is believe mm -hmm. but that's not true well you 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 still have to believe but you have to do other things too like you have to um you, in order to go to heaven like well not in order to go to heaven but like in order to like i feel like if you just believe it's not gonna be like you my good and faithful servant like you know um hey. Huh? Say, say what you mean we're being recorded i know what you mean but mm -hmm. explain what you mean so like if we if we um so people they'll be like when they read the scripture oh if we just believe in god the whole time until he come back then we'll go to heaven i feel like that's true but like if you wanna if you really wanna if you really want god to be like um if you really want to make god happy or fulfill your purpose. Yeah, fulfill and you your be purpose. fulfilled. Yeah. Then it's required more of you. It's just like it's kind of like what I was watching today. They were talking mm -hmm. about in the interview that um uh, they were talking about business mm -hmm. and talking about how like you build good relationships and stuff like that. It benefits mm -hmm. you in the long run. Mm -hmm. Duh, that's 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 the principles and this the secrets. It, it's not even a secret, but that's the the. It, you could say law of attraction or that's that's the that's common sense that's that's what it is like yeah. if you are good you're going to reap good if you're whole you're going to uh reap wholeness if you partial then you're going to get partiality or nothing you know what i mean you're going to get wh what you invest is what you're going to get back mm -hmm. so that's just common sense but this scripture is um uh the scripture is saying the two things i think i think it's saying the two things it's saying um you know like it says for this is how god uh loved the world he gave his his one and only it's breaking it down like you know you need to understand what he did this is this is his love this is what he did he gave his one and only son so that everyone who believes how did he give he he gave his son he gave his son up as a sacrifice a pure sacrifice as a lamp god uh jesus in the flesh god is jesus in the flesh and he was a pure sacrifice you get him saying which was considered a lamp 
Because, you know, a, a lamb, I mean, mm -hmm. am I saying it right? Mm -hmm. Because they did animals. They It, it was an animal sacrifice, sacri uh, sacrifice, sac sacri how you say it? Sacrificing, sacrifice, I can't say the other thing. Well, I'm, I'm not, I don't know how to pronounce the other thing. Mm -hmm. um, back in the day, um, before Jesus died, but after he died, now we go through his, we go through Christ. Mm -hmm. Because he have already done it for us. So the Bible says that uh, uh, he gave, God gave his one and only son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. He gave his one and only son so that everyone who believes with an ES. So it's like, okay, you could believe, make the, uh, the deposit and believe for, to, to secure your spot. Uh, to secure your spot after this life. Mm -hmm. And also, if you believe throughout your life, mm -hmm. the Bible says, and see, that's what I think the, the Holy Ghost wanted me to see, because I, you know, we 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 were we're um headed on new heights <laughs> and new adventures. The Holy Ghost wanted me to see and remind me, like you said, it's a reminder that as you constantly believe. You know what I mean? My love for you. And in the proper way, which is through my son, he died for you, that you shall not perish. Mm -hmm. You won't fail, Tia. You won't fail, my love. You believing in, in me. You believing in the right thing. You believing in me. You're trusting in me. Your faith is in me. You believe in what I said, my, the, 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 what you need to believe in. You're believing in the right things. So you won't fail. But you'll have internal life, everlasting life. Your well will never run dry. Even after this life. Even thereafter. In the name of Jesus. That's what I felt the Holy Ghost was saying to me. That's what it ministered to me. That's powerful, huh? Mm -hmm. Like that's deep. Like, so it, the scripture, I agree with y'all. The scripture is, 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 um, but see, the, the God is the way, truth, and life. He, he not just, in, he can take one scripture that, that, that is known to mean something. He can bring it back to you and it, it, it could be something well known. And it could be a, it could be a, it could be a whole no, no, different, a whole, and fill you up. That's what I'm saying. Your, your drill, your, your, your well never runs dry. And he just replenished me. He just fed me in something that that I already knew, that I already thought I well already knew in one way, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So God just that just really blessed me, like you know, and I just wanted to open that up with y'all since y'all didn't do y'all little Bible study today. So we we, we just ate. We don't gotta necessarily read a, a, a chapter oh, chap every day. Be obedient. You know, that's another thing that I'm learning. Uh, what is it? Um, somebody just said, I, I don't know what I was watching, but it said, um, they said, uh, um, if you, if you, whatever you're doing, it's a scripture. I don't know the scripture. I'm not thinking of the exact scripture, but it's a scripture for sure. Um, whatever you do, if, oh, if you do it, thank you, Holy Ghost. If you do it and God, if it's not on the rock, if God didn't need you to do it, then you're doing it in vain. If you're staying up all night in the name of the Lord, or oh matter of fact, that goes back to the the Muslim, um, not the Muslim, the um, the uh, uh, what was those people that we met at the Stone Mountain um, missionaries. missionaries? That goes back to that that word that God gave me, and that was not that long ago. Same thing. Whatever you, if you're doing something and God didn't lead you to do it, then it's in vain. Yeah. It's dead. You're doing it with it with His name on it. But he didn't tell you to do it, so therefore it's in vain. If God didn't build the house, or if it's not built on the Lord, mm -hmm. meaning if he didn't lead you to do it, he didn't cause you to do it, then it's in vain. Mm -hmm. That goes back, that's, that's that, um, to make what I'm saying make sense, is that even though y'all, y'all, you know, we have a setup that we read a chapter a day, you know, on the week, mm -hmm. the week, uh, the weekdays or whatever, but today God just gave me a verse. That's all I needed. All of this. Like all, and then see, and, 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 and this is what we needed. Mm -hmm. It ain't about it being a, how much. It's about it's about what, what we, we need. Mm -hmm. And only God knows what we need. Mm -hmm. So 
it, it's cool to have a routine. So this this is the this is the um the whole point. It's cool to have a routine, but in the routine, be submitted and obedient to God. That way, when He speak, you can get what you need. Mm -hmm. You won't be led astray, and you will be in this John, John three sixteen scripture or verse um, that you will never perish. You won't lack. You won't go wrong. You won't fail, my son, my daughter. But you will have everlasting life. your your wells overflowing. Never running dry. You you your steps will be ordered. You're making Abba proud. You're in position. You know? Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. <laughs>